Hi, this is Mike Green, and in this video, we're going to look at the differences between the Contact Player version of Realivox Blue and the version of Realivox Blue that requires the full version of Contact. This can cause some confusion. So first, let's talk about the difference between Contact and the Contact Player. Even though they have very similar names, there's actually a difference between the two. Contact Player is free and can only play Contact Player libraries. Whereas Contact, sometimes called Full Contact, costs $399 and can play any Contact library. Many libraries, like Realibanjo, require this full version of Contact. You can also do editing with Contact, while Contact Player does not allow editing. So how do you know which version of Contact you have? Well, spending $399 isn't the kind of thing you'd probably forget, so there's that. Or just open the sidebar browser by clicking this Browse button right here. Then right here in the upper left corner, if it says Contact Player, then you have Contact Player. If it says Contact without the word Player, then you have the full version of Contact. Simple, right? With Realivox Blue, we give you the option. You can get the Contact Player version or you can get the regular Contact version. So. If you have Contact Player, then you have to buy the Contact Player version. The other version won't work. If you have the full version of Contact, then you can buy either version. They'll both work, although many people still get the Contact Player version because they like to use the Libraries tab, which we'll talk about in a minute. Anyway, back to our two versions. You may be wondering why we charge more for the Contact Player version. Well, the reason is that in order to make a library work in the Contact Player, we have to send it to Germany, where Native Instruments sprinkles magic fairy dust on it. That makes it a Contact Player library. Of course, Native Instruments charges us for that service, and magic fairy dust isn't cheap. So I have to pass that cost on to you, which is why the Contact Player library version costs a little more. And for the record, I charge you less than what Native Instruments charges me, because we cool like that. So that's the main reason for buying the Contact Player version. It's so that if you have the free Contact Player, then Realivox Blue will work. But there's another reason that some people like. Let's suppose you're the big spender type, and you have the full version of Contact. Then, of course, you could get either version. They will both work equally well. But there's still one extra little bonus if you get the Contact Player version. That bonus is that the Contact Player version can be loaded into the Libraries tab. That's the other thing that that magic fairy dust was for. This library tab is pretty cool, so a lot of people are willing to pay the extra bucks to have Realivox appear there. Again, only official contact player libraries can be put into this libraries tab. So if you get the cheaper version of Realivox Blue, the version without magic fairy dust, and if you then try to add it in this add library tab, then you're going to get this no library found message. Don't panic. No big deal since most libraries are not official Contact Player libraries. You can still easily load them in several different ways. The most obvious way is to click this Files button, then navigate to the instrument you want to load. There's even Load Recent, which is nice. Or you can use the Files tab in the sidebar browser. Same idea, just navigate to your instruments, then load. Or here's a nifty little trick. You can skip all the contact buttons and instead just go to your desktop and find an instrument in your finder. Then just drag and drop it onto your contact interface. Pretty cool, right? But last, and definitely not least, is Quick Load. Check this out. Click this Quick button. Now we have this Quick Load workspace. Now you can drag any instrument you want into it so all your favorite stuff, like your Realitone stuff, is right here. Easy access. You double click and your instruments load, quick and easy. If you right click, then you can make folders or delete files or whatever. You can even group instruments from different companies together if you want. Make a violin folder, for instance. Quick load is a pretty slick way to work. So there you have it. If you have Contact Player, then you need to buy the Contact Player version of Realivox Blue. If you have the full version of Contact, then you can get either version. They're functionally identical, except for that library tabs thing. So what if you bought one version, but wish you bought the other version? No problem. Just send us an email. We'll send you a special link, so all you have to pay is the price difference. We want to make things as easy as we can for you. One final thing to mention, if someday you decide to buy Contact, 
the full version of Contact, you may be eligible for what they call a cross-grade discount if you own a qualifying Contact player library, like Realivox. Then the price for Contact is just $249. It's something to keep in mind. So, I hope this video was helpful. So why don't you do you and me a favor and subscribe to this YouTube channel because these helpful videos just keep a coming. And then do yourself another favor and head on over to Realitone.com and see what cool stuff we've been cooking up. And of course there's our Facebook page at Facebook.com slash Realitone where we post all our news and updates so you can be the cool kid on the block who knows the Realitone news before everyone else does. Thanks for watching.